Hi, it's Dave T here, and in this video, I'm going to show how to fit an electronic water level meter or gauge to an onboard tank. And to do this, I'll be using a water level gauge from CVE, some additional four core cable, some electrical connectors, and a drill with two sizes of hole saw. The first task is to open the tank cap and feel inside to ensure that there are no pipes that are going to clash with where you intend to drill the hole. Next, use the hole saw to drill the correct sized hole in the top of the water tank. The tank walls are surprisingly thick, but easy enough to cut through. Next, clear out any plastic swarf that's fallen into the tank. Then confirm the depth of the tank and cut the meter's probes to the correct length. It's worth explaining here just how the meter works. There are four probes on the sensor, each of a different length. The longest is the common or ground and needs to reach almost to the bottom of the tank. The sensor works by the water connecting a circuit between the common probe and one or more of the others. If the lowest two probes are both submerged, then the lowest LED is lit. If all of the probes are submerged, then the tank is full. Bearing this in mind, you ideally want the two middle length probes to be cut to about 30 and 60% each of the tank depth. The shortest probe should extend to just below the bottom of the overflow pipe. Then simply insert the probe body, remembering to fit the silicon gasket, and then tighten the large nut from inside the tank with your hand. Route the cable to wherever you are planning to place the meter. It will need to be somewhere where you can connect to a 12 volt supply. For us, this was on the other side of the van, so I had to extend the cable by a couple of meters using some additional four core cable. I had intended to use the hole saw again to mount the meter plate next to the other switches. However, we already had a TV aerial point that we never used. So to make life simpler, I simply removed this and swapped it for the water meter panel, taking advantage of the TV point's 12 volt feed. You may want to add an inline fuse at this point, but the connectors I piggybacked from were already fused. So there you have it. No more guessing the level of the onboard water tank using this meter. Now the next couple of projects I've got lined up are going to be around improving the battery and solar power system on the caravan. So if you're interested in those or other videos, then please hit the like button and also consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, thanks for watching.